But you had uh, stellar numbers coming in from Mahindra and Mahindra as well. In fact, record profits for a single quarter and also record EBITDA margins. But all of this euphoria, is there anything to worry about? Well, yes, there are certain worries still. And besides that, M&M is also looking at fresh fundraising. Ketan Tucker rounds it up for you with all the details. India's largest tractor and utility vehicle maker, Mahindra & Mahindra, posted record-breaking numbers for the second quarter. This comes on the back of a 44% increase in utility vehicle sales and a 27% growth in tractor sales. So, net sales jumped 32% at just under 5,200 crore rupees, while net profit for the quarter grew by a whopping 242%. The EBITDA margin was the highest ever at 18.2%. Very excited with the results, uh, not just the financial performance, but also the market performance. Uh, so both in terms of how the industry has developed uh, over the last quarter, how m and has done within the context of the industry, and how we have gotten financial result out of it. All three have been very good for us. Going forward, maintaining the strong volumes and healthy margins would be a big challenge. Raw material prices are on their way up and there is more competition on the anvil in form of Tata's crossover, which hits the market in early part of 2010. But m and says it is prepared for the future. The company is going ahead with its planned capex of 6,500 to 7,000 crore rupees over the next three years. The company is also open to divesting stake in Mahindra and Mahindra's vehicle manufacturing to meet a part of its fundraising plans of 1,200 to 1,300 crore rupees. So in our corporate borrowing plan, while we'll raise it in the name of MVML, we'll take care of it through our three ways of internal generation, existing liquidity which we have, we have opportunity of divesting some of our investments because we hold much more than 51% in many of the profitable companies. And fourthly, yes, to the extent of balancing requirement, we'll borrow. The company's immediate product focus will be on the entry to the US market in early 2010 and its new global SUV platform that is also coming next year. In Mumbai, Ketan Thakkar, NDTV Profit.